today's review is going to be about Bruce Lee and G.O.D. custom 45 RPM 12 inch record on a 180 gram vinyl. So here we go. I had this a while back on my YouTube channel um, explaining my G.O.D. items that I have in my collection but I never actually did a review on this uh, custom record that I had made. So um, I thought it'd be something different and uh, here we go. Here's the jacket, custom jacket right here. Now, I had a friend that is a graphic designer and he is very good with Photoshop. So I came to him asking him, I'd like to have a custom record made. And um, this, of course, G.O.D. happens to be one of my favorite soundtracks, um, even more so than the original 1978 uh, Hong Kong version of Game of Death or the 1979 um, version of the US uh, G.O.D. Game of Death um, soundtrack so I had to send him the pictures this is the picture I sent him I told him it was in black and white and I told him I wanted the yellow tracksuit the pagoda in the back is not just a pagoda this is the actual pagoda that Bruce was basing uh, the storyline off of in the Game of Death this is from South Korea and I had uh, taken this color photo and asked my friend to turn it to black and white to give it more of an evil type of look. So that's the actual five-story pagoda. The background, I had told my friend that, I, you know, it's kind of a, give it a kind of a little bit of a uh, evil look in the back. So I asked him if he can turn it from pink to purple. He did just that. And then I gave him the, uh, the title right here, which were these. Without the OB, that's that's what it looks like, Bruce and G.O.D. And I told him I want that up top, and I wanted this right in front of Bruce in large letters. So he sent it back to me, and I had told him I wanted this in red. I know the original letters were in like a light blue, but um, I love red, and I thought it fit the theme very well, made it just pop at you. So here, when he sent me back the picture of that jacket, I was just blown away. I said, this is exactly what I pictured. I didn't think it would come out exactly like how I pictured it, but... So yeah, that's how that came out. I'm gonna flip it back over on the back side. And this right here is the back of the jacket. Now I sent him this photo right here. It was in black and white once again, had him colored. This right here is actually from the inside of the sampler CD. And I wanted this as the back cover. So when he sent this back to me, it came out like this, but this was blue and I says, oh no, I didn't, I didn't want blue back there. I wanted it to um, match the front. So I had him change that to red, the little dot right there. And uh, there's the credits. So yeah, there's the uh, beautiful jacket right there. And then I had to go to another person to have the record made. Now this person did colored vinyl and I didn't want to do a custom record that um, that's in black. It's just too common to have a black to pay all that money. It, it, it was expensive to have this record made, but to have a pay all that money to get in black vinyl. So I found a person that did custom colors you had to kind of mix and match your colors and I mixed to this yellowish color right here that resembled the tracksuit and uh, so they made that for me but my friend actually helped me make the label too so I sent him the template for the label and uh, there's the tracks I actually took the tracks from the CD sampler because there's six tracks on here and I couldn't find anyone that would do a full uh, soundtrack on vinyl and have color so they were usually maximum eight tracks uh, this person I found that did color is only six tracks, so it was perfect because these were uh, three on one side and three on the other side, and that would match the uh, vinyl record of 45. I chose 45 RPM speed because 33 for only six tracks, it, 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 I think the sound quality is better on 45 speed, so I chose 45 RPM, although it's, uh, you know, it's rare to see 45 on a 12-inch record. That's exactly what I did to get the best quality sound. Um, this is also a 180 gram vinyl. So it's not the real uh, thin vinyl that you see on normal records. They're real flimsy. This is real, real sturdy, real durable. Um, I'm not going to flip it over to show you the other side because the other label side B looks just like that. Just the other tracks. Um, don't, I don't really need to flip it over. Um, I just don't need to. I don't need to put gloves on or anything like that. I'm, I know how to handle a record. Never touch the grooves, of course. Uh, that's a must. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the reason I had this made, it's never been done before in vinyl. G, Bruce and G.O.D. has never been done before in vinyl. This is a first, and this is a one-off record. So, this is the, the first and only one ever made. Um, 
yeah so i thought i had i'd have that done and this is the original cd sampler i have the full cd soundtrack that i believe has 16 tracks on it uh but yeah um this is it right here and um i'm very pleased on how it turned out thank you for watching